Uh, hi, I'm Adam Gray. I just drove my first race at Thompson Fair and it was awesome. Oh, race. I didn't sleep much last night and for all week since the draw I've been thinking about how what I'm gonna do and how I'm gonna how things are gonna go. <laughs> so we're hoping for the best. My name is Donald Richards. I've been driving for 65 years. My advice to Adam Gray would be to just be safe, drive carefully, and remember there's some races ahead of you. Don't try to be a hero the first time. You'll get along fine. I'd like to see him to be safe. I know he's not going to make a career out of driving. I'm kind of happy to see him try it anyway. Have you given him any advice about this drive particularly today? Well, I no, just told him that this is a tough place to start. Talks him. Got a funny old track. You know, just be careful out there. Yeah, like my father, when I first started driving, my father said, make sure you just don't do stupid, nothing stupid. Go out there, do a good job, drive the horse properly, don't bring him, beat him up, and, and the winds will come. Just don't do stupid things. That's all. Right. Right. I know colors cost a lot of money, so it looks like you haven't spent right now a lot of money on colors. Maybe Not yet. Yes, I'm yeah. going to. Yes. As yeah. soon as yeah. I get, get my, actually get my actual pee, then I'm going to wear some real colors and have some yeah. colors. Now. Tell me about the colors you'll choose. Probably be a combination of my cousin Sean Gray's and my father's Doug Gray's colors. Some kind of combination right in there. In harness racing, is there any chance you would ever have colors that weren't related or somewhat similar to your family's? No, I'd probably stay with the family thing because it's, it's family business and always has been for years, so probably stick with the family stuff. Would, how shocking would it be if a, a driver didn't choose the family, something based on the family colors? Is that? Oh, I don't know. Would it bother you? No, no, no. How about if you orange and black? Well, I don't, I don't think he'd have that. You know, end up being black and blue. <laughs> Sorry? Kevin Switzer Sr. Kevin Switzer Jr. The first time you drive, try not to get killed or kill anybody else. Yes, yeah, just be safe. Get around there twice. <laughs> Safety, number one thing. Yeah. I think you yeah, not be over anxious. Uh, the pylon just, when the car uh, run over uh, him came, came out and enjoy the ride. <laughs> one thing to keep in mind, Adam, you was born around these things. Keep a level head, be the model of consistency, and be cognizant of what other people are doing as much as what you're doing. Well, one of the tools I use is I look down the left and I look, if I'm sitting like fifth on the wood, I look up, the, look up what I call the tunnel. And if I see any driver's posture change in an unusual way, or if I see a horse's head disappear in the tool hole, I know it's going to domino back to me in about probably two-fifths of a second. Usually everybody's pretty pensive the first time they're off, so he'll be all right. Supporting or not supporting Adam going from trainer to a little bit of driving? Absolutely supporting. I don't see why not. He's very capable. What are you feeling? I, I, the driver gets to think about strategy and driving as the assistant trainer, partner, wife. What, what do you get to do? <laughs> Hope he comes off the track safe. And all the other work. <laughs> Yeah, I was a little kid. This man right here said, one day he was always giving us kids money all the time. And I says, Greg, I says, why are you giving us kids all money? Says, someday. He goes, someday I'm going to need a hole someday on the track when you guys are driving against me. Exactly. <laughs> Everyone's forgotten. <laughs>
the new guy? Ralph. Ralph Fanny? No, I don't know if they're gonna hire anybody else. I just said, let's get them when we can talk. Number four, Lightning in the Spur. Number seven, E. Gray. Number one, Nate, Adam Gray, and Nate Sulky. You know, he did a pretty good job, though. You know, he was able to spit and talk, and uh, you know, use multi-syllable words out there. He didn't just make guttural grunts. He did a good job. <laughs> if he'd had a little more to work with, he would have done sterling. One that word. That was fun. That was excellent. That was a rush. That's what it's all about, right there. Finished sixth, but I felt like I won. <laughs>